In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to save and export your layouts in Divi. So here are a few cases where you may want to do this. So let's say you want to share your layout with someone, or maybe you want to use it at a later stage, you can actually do this. Or if you want to sell your layouts, you can also do this because they are very easy to import and add them onto your website because they come in with all the elements. These are the images, the font types, and so on. So today's tutorial is made possible by divicake.com. Check out their huge selection of Divi themes, layouts, and plugins. The link is in the description below. Okay, so the first thing you wanna do is to enable the visual builder. So I'm gonna click on enable visual builder. And then I'm gonna come all the way down here to expand settings. I'm gonna click this plus button. So over here is where all your layouts are saved. So if I click on this tab, so this is where you'd see all your saved layouts. Right, so I'm gonna close this and then we're gonna come over here and save our layout. So I'm gonna click portability and then we can give this layout a name. So I'm just gonna call this Mac Home Layout and then next I'm gonna click on Export Divi Builder Layout. Okay, so once exported, what happens is it then gets downloaded onto your computer as a JSON file. So let's take a look at that file. So if I come over here, and show in Finder, we'll see that Mac Home is now here as a .json file. So this is the file that when you load Divi, you can actually import this file and all those uh, elements in that layout are then imported on your, onto your website. So let's try and do that. So I'm gonna close this and then I'm gonna save this page. So now we're just gonna assume that this is a brand new website or even a website that has been designed before. So I'm going to, um, go into my dashboard, and then I'm gonna come over here to pages, click on add new. So I'm gonna call this page Mac layout, click on use the Divi builder, and then we're gonna go straight to our visual builder. Great, so as you can see, there's nothing on this page. So to load our layout, we can come over here to our expand settings, click on the portability, and then this time you want to click on import. So here you have a few options. You can replace existing content. So this is when you have a few sections here on your page. But in this case, of course, this is what we need. So I'm going to click on choose file. And then I'm going to come to my downloads. And then this is the layout which we exported earlier on. I'm going to double click on it. And then I'm going to click on import DV Builder layout. Excellent. So now it's being imported. So now we can see that all the elements of that page have now been imported onto our page. So if I scroll down here, just to make sure that we have everything, we can see that everything is in place. Okay, so let's move on to the next stage, which is how to save this layout into your library. So what you wanna do is to click on edit page, and then you can come over here, click on save to library, and then you can give this your name like that, and then save. So what happens now is your layout is now saved in the library. So you can pull it up anytime you want to use this. So as compared to what we did earlier on, that layout is only imported on the page that you're working on, but it's not saved in your library. So this is the main difference. So over here, if you want to use the layout, all you have to do is to create a brand new page. So I'm gonna click on new. So let's call this new layout. Okay, so what you wanna do next is to click on uh, load layout. And then over here you have your saved layouts. And now you can see here we have this Mac layout. So you can import it that way and all the elements will be saved on your website. Today's tutorial has been made possible by divicake.com. Check out the huge selection of Divi themes, layouts and plugins. The link is in the description below. Okay, so that's all I have for you today. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and do follow us on our social media platforms. By doing so, you'll be notified every time I go live or when I post a new video. Till next time, thanks for watching and see you soon.